hello readers first of all we would like to welcome our friend mr overam from us the best part about his company's name is ask the ceo first of all i would like to ask him how did you come with this name yeah it was you know it just came to me um when i was thinking about starting up a business on social media and i was thinking about what it is i wanted to do and i wanted to help the industry and i wanted to solve a problem in the industry well there's lots of people out there that share information on social media um but it wasn't just information i wanted to share i wanted to share pertinent information actionable information that people can take and use for their businesses and i was thinking about how people want to hear from the business owners the leaders you know what is it that your company does you want to ask the ceo and it just came to me oh so we'll call it ask the ceo <laughs> <laughs> this will make everybody feel comfortable to immediately directly get in touch with the ceo and get their queries sorted out exactly that's that's basically what it's about it's a place where ceos feel comfortable hanging out hanging and out. where people feel comfortable interacting with ceos avram i would also like to want to tell you one thing today when this even you came for this conference especially you came from us to attend this conference so before you came here what was in your mind regarding this conference what ideas or what what was going through your mind before you reached here sure so what was going through my mind was excitement i come from a 20 year background in it and telecom and working in it I'm no stranger to Indians. I mean, India is a center of innovation, a IT hub globally. So I've had the privilege of working with many Indians already for 20 years, and it it was just this excitement that I felt that wow, we're taking this to the next level. We're going beyond IT to deep tech, to all these different verticals within that sphere that's called deep tech, AI, machine learning, uh um NLP and so on and so on IoT so all these different branches of deep tech and India is involved as well I've got to see this for myself I want to see what's out there see you have been a veteran in telecom industry you have also had a great exposure in broadcast industry now when it comes to artificial intelligence it comes to deep tech technology deep tech submit after attending after coming today and how was your experience today after you were today evening we are in the evening now so after the full day after the conference workshop what is your experience of today well i was definitely not disappointed i i'm very happy that i came here um i got to see first hand the people the innovators that are out there i i met with seasoned um business people and i also met with startup entrepreneurs and sure enough because i'm in broadcasting and i interview business owners all the time i couldn't leave without doing an interview of my own and i interviewed a young entrepreneur who's going to be uh innovating and revolutionizing a uh portion of the telecom industry in telecom and isp and we had this great conversation and i was really amazed at not just the innovation of what he's doing today but his background where he came from and that gave me a real appreciation of the people that i work with and i interact with from india all the time so that's why i asked you during the conference also ki you are a person how can india how can the india be a superpower and how your experience your guidance your knowledge your vast exposure can help india to become a world power so you said i will give all my things and i will set up my establishment within 179 days am i right 179 days 179 yeah. days it was 6 months then today being out it was taken as 179 days now after the submit and after the meeting everybody what is your action plan now how do we look forward for tomorrow for the coming time for sure so here's my you know here are my thoughts india has all the building blocks you have it all you have smart people you have innovators innovators in technology well educated people you have what it takes 
Uh, one of the things I mentioned in my presentation yesterday uh, when I spoke about my personal mission, my mission is to help um, give a voice to those businesses that are innovating and developing technology. Because one of the challenges that we find is that there's so much noise on social media that their voices get drowned out and you never even hear about them. Now could you imagine how much better off the world would be if people actually knew about some, even, even a tenth of these um, innovators, these solutions that are out there. So my action plan is to work with uh, Indian entrepreneurs, as well as global brands uh, originating in India, the big guys need help too, in helping to share their words, share their message to the public so that people are aware not just what solutions they offer, but how those solutions can be applied to people's lives, to people's businesses, and make a difference for the world. What message would you want to give for our readers? Any specific message that you want to give? What I would say is like this. Um, we are living in a day and age when AI is becoming very prevalent and we're implementing AI in all areas of our lives. And there is a, a general atmosphere of fear. People are afraid that they're going to get outsourced you know, to automation, to AI. And my message is that it's just the opposite. AI is an enabler. Sure, there will be some jobs lost, but you also have to look at the net gain. And each and every one of us presents, uh, contains a uniqueness within us that cannot be, um, that cannot be outsourced, it cannot be displaced, disrupted, because that is our essence. And we each contain that. And what I would like to just, uh, it, it's, it's almost like a, uh, like a plea, that each and every one of us, let's take a moment and think about what it is that makes us unique and leverage that and use that to re, uh, re, um, reinvent yourself and how that can contribute to an overall um, gain in the Indian economy that will help India become the world superpower that I know it can be. Thank you so much. We literally wish to thank you and we hope that when the next summit comes and takes place, by that time your establishment will be settled here and you will be having a full Indian proper setup. We look forward once again to that kind of cooperation and support. I look thank forward you so to that. much. To view latest stories, news and relevant information, please subscribe our YouTube channel satellite at Internet India.